Hello, my name is Raj Patel, and I'm an entrepreneur, a maker, and an innovator. And above all, I'm an educator on all those topics. And I really believe that we as humans, we can build things. Build things that change the world around us. Everything you see was created by a human no different than you. And I, growing up, as I'll go through in my talk at the conference, really was just a hard studying student. I thought about life as a path that I needed to follow. So I needed to do well on these tests to get ahead to the next grade, to get into a good college, then to get to a good med school, and then follow these processes, eventually to reach at some destination. But I kept going through the system. And it was in college while I was at Stanford that my whole life changed when I realized the fact that as an individual, I don't need to just follow this path, but I can actually change the world around me. I can create things, I can build things, and I can shape what exists and make something new that didn't have that wasn't there before. So then the question became, not what path am I striving towards, but what is it that I wanna build? What is it that I wanna create that will change the world around me? And through a class, I was given the opportunity to use these skills to create something, not that would just start a big company, make me a lot of money, but to actually innovate something, to invent something that would help and change the lives of those who are less fortunate. After college, I was um, a founding team member of an organization called Embrace. And what we did is we completely reinvented the baby incubator to help keep premature and low birth weight babies warm. But specifically, we harnessed the power of design thinking to innovate this product for the developing world, for the areas that need it most, the people who are in settings where there may not be access to electricity, where there aren't the resources to afford these expensive incubators, and where nurses and doctors may not be trained to operate the equipment. And millions of babies every year are dying because they simply can't be kept warm. We thought this was an injustice and we wanted to see things differently. So we then created a product that actually costs less than 1% of a traditional incubator. It can work without electricity. It's very easy to operate and use and has now been used in over 25 countries and has impacted and saved the lives of over 250,000 babies. And this journey showed me the value of the education I had. I went from not really being sure what I want to do in life, trying to follow another path, to becoming an entrepreneur who created a product that has changed the lives of so many. And through this, I also educated the team that we hired. Engineers who came on the team, who were on the path I was before, but very shortly after, once exposed to this culture, these mindsets, these tools, then saw themselves as creative problem solvers who were making the world a better place. And it was after this experience when I returned to the US for graduate school and I went to the Harvard Kennedy School to get my master's in public administration and I went to the Stanford University Graduate School of Business to get my MBA that I decided I wanted to start another organization that would actually empower others to realize this capacity within themselves to change the world around them. And so I have now co-founded Dent Education to inspire people with the tools, the resources and the confidence to make a dent in the world around them. And if you come to my workshop, I'm going to run through some of these tools, some of these uh, processes and mindsets of how do you actually innovate? How do you become creative and tap into that which exists within you, which is that inventor, which is that entrepreneur, which is that creative problem solver? And now a lot of people, they agree with these tenets that come out of Silicon Valley. Yes, we wanna be entrepreneurial. Yes, we wanna be creative and think differently. Yes, we wanna move very fast and innovate. But the missing question is how? How do you actually understand your user? How do you prototype? How do you actually use these tools in reality? That's often the missing link. And in my workshop, we're gonna go through that. Not in theory, not through a presentation, but you're gonna come in, you're gonna work in teams, and you're gonna get your hands dirty actually building prototypes, actually interviewing people and understanding problems, brainstorming in teams to come up with creative solutions. And hopefully these tools and mindsets that you learn you can then take away and apply to your everyday life, to your work, to even at home, to your own personal life of how will you change and actually use this creativity that's within you to change the world around you and create the world that you want to live in. So I look uh, forward to seeing you there. Um, I'm excited to come back to Korea, Malaysia and run these programs. I've done workshops there in the past um, and I enjoy um, absolutely getting uh, with energetic, excited people. So if this sounds like something you're interested in and you don't want to sit there and listen to a presentation, but rather get your hands dirty and start working, um, I will look forward to seeing you at the workshop.
Thank you.